So what, what, are you, what are you doing now, man? What's going to happen? We're, uh, we're here at uh, uh, Minute Maid Park. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. And uh, so here's the thing. We, we, um, <laughs> Let's you know, get away from the toilet because I'm hearing an echo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to this part of the locker it's room. It's not an echo. I think Huck's in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, so all the crews, they put together this poster. Right. Right? That, uh, that they do, and, and it's like a, kind of a... It's just for kind of internal use, uh, mostly within NASA, and yeah. it's for spaceflight awareness. It's kind of a, right. mor a morale boosting uh, yeah. thing, a way to say thank you to the guys. And so um, anyway, uh, so they make these posters, and recently they've been doing all these movie posters. And the first one's kind of cool. They did this. I don't know. You did like a Ocean's Eleven thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go, yeah, the sun. Yeah, that's test. cool. Those are cool guys. Yeah. yeah. But now, yeah, cool. I'm not saying I was a cool guy. Uh, I'm saying the guys in that poster were cool. Okay. The original, the original actor. Right here, go ahead. I'm trying to get. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. So. And so, it, what cool it, thing are you doing, Gary? After a while, it got a yeah. little overused. You yeah. Know? I mean, I'd we, have to then agree. Then when we got to the Harry Potter ones, are they okay? That's too much. And they were frightening. <laughs> yeah. They're actually, the expressions on the faces of the of the. It was yeah. It was it's frightening. It's terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Children were crying. No, I no, not good. Yeah. It, didn't, yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> so we came up with this idea. We'll do something different. And right. uh, it was actually Ken Ahaka, or Commander yeah. Ken Ham's idea. He. Uh, Said, hey, uh, why don't we get all suited up? These are our suits, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. Anything we'll else you want to film? Suits. We'll go okay. out into the uh, into the ballpark there, right. and we'll do like a thing, and we'll put all of our training team, everybody else that's uh, you know worked really hard in the flight, yeah, in the, in the stands right right there with us, and then we can have a big group photo there, and and that'd be you know hopefully I don't know we'll see how it comes out, but yeah. we're hoping that it's better oh, than it's the Harry Potter. Well, I, 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 I definitely, yeah, I think it will be. Yeah. Okay. Without a doubt, it'll be it'll be actually pretty good, and plus everyone's excited. Well, your whole training team, I mean, I'm excited. I'm just carrying a camera here. But your whole training team is very excited about coming down right. here, and they're bringing their families, too. Well, we told uh, so. them uh, that. Did you know uh, that, by the way? That? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Uh, you know, we told them that all the, uh, all the players were going to be here and that yeah. uh, there was going to be free hot dogs. Yeah, so you lied, in other words. Yeah. yeah. So I think we'll have yeah. a good turnout, but uh, they yeah. might get unruly when they find out the... Yeah, no, the, yeah. What are you going to tell them when they, when they find that out? How are you going to uh, win them over? The You're going to run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is backyard one. Apparently over here. You going to warm up a little bit, Karen? Yeah. The, yeah. I'm ready. She's... Off the ground. Off the ground. Stay off the ground. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. Right. All right. How's it going, man? Pretty good. Let's see, you look good. Thanks. Look like an astro knot. She doesn't. He, doesn't he look like Martin Scorsese with that with that hat on? Hello. How are you guys doing? Hey, so what do you got there, Steve? In your hand. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. We just just steal something. You don't know? Yeah. That's a, a cricket ball. I've never even seen one of those before. I've never seen one What's it? What, what do you think? I'm just saying, you know, you probably get more movement out of this thing because of the way the seams are. They're really a lot you, prouder than the ones on the on a normal baseball. Uh, Piers, do they throw a curveball with that thing? What? Yeah, you can curve that thing pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. He says if they pick the seam too, they can peel it back in one. Oh. Make it even more easy. You're not, you're not supposed to do that with a baseball. Yeah, it hits the ground. It's, so whatever hole you throw it yeah, into. Yeah, that's right. It hits a rock or something. It really curves. Wow. Well, how? How far can you hit this thing, Piers? Can you hit it further than a baseball, or yeah? You can clear the fence with it. Comes at you faster, like 110. It comes at 110. How do you figure that? Well, the guy's running when he throws it. Oh. And it's over on ball. This is so interesting. And then when you I have to like admit, I'm finding this to be very you interesting. Whack it, and you, you know the boundary. If you hit it over the boundary, that's six runs, which is a lot. And yeah. That clearly stands right. Yeah. The boundary. You call it the boundary. You don't have a fence, really. Like a home run. Okay. That's doing well. All right. And for that, you need a cross bat. Something were wrong. Yeah. The 2000 game is played. Wow. Do you like playing this game? <laughs> really? You didn't like it? I used to play when I was a kid. Yeah. It was, it was kind of fun back then. Yeah. The top of the league, you've got to have nerves. Have you ever the Junction Jack. No, I think All right, Steve, you're going to have to help us out here. Do you know why? Because Junction Jack can't talk. He doesn't talk. Junction Jack doesn't talk. All right, so uh, so you're going to have to... You want to say what? It's going to be like a silent film. He's not going to talk either? All right. He's our Junction Jack. 
You should do some black and white. Tell people it was before talkies. Before talkies. <laughs> so, Steve, you're going to help us out. I want to ask Junction Jack, like, uh, Junction Jack, are you a big supporter of the space program? Yes, he is. Okay. And who, who is your favorite space shuttle crew? These guys. <laughs> these guys. <laughs> yeah. There they are. All right. And have you ever been, you ever seen a launch junction, Jack? One time? Where, where they, was it really something? Yeah? <laughs> That's a quarter bed. And you get, now you're the three flight directors. For on the st shuttle station, what do we got mixed up here? What station? What you, station? Shuttle lead. Shuttle. Acid entry. And acid entry. Okay. So now there's so there's another another four flight directors that are working the flight that aren't here. That's right. All Actually, right. One at least is in the stands. Who is that? Holly Writings. Holly, she's she'll hiding over there. The other, okay. She'll be there for we can't the we can't morning. find her. There's it like a thousand people there. Yeah, Maybe a couple. Red, though, Fifty thousand. So. Oh, she's. She's uh, usually easy to spot. Okay. All right. No, I don't see All right. And Chris was going to try to make it. Really got right, we got okay. Chris Chris Lynn, the guys. one of the uh, shuttle shifts as well as yeah. Kendrick here. All right. Tony Sikachi. Oh, my goodness. So All right. We get a lot of are, you, are you the only baseball fans out of the group? Is that what it is? Or are the only ones that the only ones that are able to play hooky? I would say Holly is probably the yeah. biggest Astros fan of our group. Is that right? Absolutely. Uh, and, and you're playing a role. You're dressed up like this for a reason, right? You're, you're supposed to be the umpire? Well, he's got, I thought, <laughs> you've got your whole, yeah, yeah that's not, but the, <laughs> the, 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 yeah. are you here for a tryout? Yeah. You're trying to see me mold right in there, <laughs> trying, to, trying to mold right in there? Yeah. I think I'm going to go for a number cinco here on the jersey. All, set. All right. And, uh, okay. And Emily, you're, you're supposed to be like the umpire? I'm supposed to be the umpire, but apparently we don't have all of the uniforms, so we'll just make do with what we can. All right, well, it kind of gets a point. Yeah, it's okay. What do you got going? Nothing. He's the visiting general manager. <laughs> You're a general manager. He's a general manager at the time. Therefore, he's a manager. Imagine, if you will, you know, when you see the ball come off the bat and it looks like it's going to the fence, but you don't know if it's over or not yet, there's that little anticipation like, like, holy cow, I don't know. <laughs> what you don't want to do is you don't want to, like, go, yeah, it's over the fence because then you block everybody behind you. Right? You understand that? Yep. yep. Okay. So these guys will try to, like, cue you to get into that anticipation, you know, like, wide-eyed or whatever. Um, the reason he's making you look at different places is the best light is coming from over there. But I think it's going to clearly look like it's a foul ball if you're all looking at it. <laughs> so imagine it's going over the fence right over there by the foul pole. That's about as close as you can get. Nice direction. Nice skating nice direction. <laughs> Tell me again what my motivation is here. <laughs>